Hi guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you guys are new here. My name is Tori and I'd love to have you stick around for the rest of this video, maybe even subscribe. So today I'm going to be doing another haul. There's no surprise there. But this time everything that I'm going to be showing you guys is from Sephora. It's kind of collected. The majority of the stuff is from today. So um, the rest of it was like from a week ago. Yeah, I'm really excited. I got some really good stuff and I've been back on my makeup grind. I kind of fell off there for a while, but um, I'm so excited to show all these things to you guys. It was just time for my makeup collection to get some new some new products. So if you guys are interested in seeing this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Subscribe down below and click that bell so you get notified. And yeah, let's go ahead and get started. So before about a week ago, I wasn't buying like any makeup. It was kind of sad. I was just going through like a, a makeup rut. I don't know if you guys have gone through that, but you know, there was a lot of new products coming out, but there wasn't any that I was like, gotta have it. My skin was really acting weird for a really long time and it just, it was holding me back from like wanting to do my makeup. Um, it was just really, really dry. And then I went to Colorado and it got even worse. It just got to the point like no matter what I did, my makeup still wouldn't look good just because my face was so dry. And I just kind of stopped wearing makeup for a little bit, stopped buying makeup. So today I went shopping. But yeah, so I'm like so excited that I finally got some new makeup and my skin has been a lot better from some of the products I'm gonna show you guys. And I'm just so, so excited. I also made an order on Ulta, but it's not here yet. So I thought that it'd be fun just to do Sephora. So huge makeup haul, I'm so excited. So I'm gonna go ahead and start with the little bag. So I have a few things that I showed in another haul. I don't know if it's up yet. It should be, if it is up, I'll link it up here. But I actually showed this stuff in a haul because I wasn't expecting to do a dedicated Sephora haul. So just ignore that these are repeats. Yeah, I just thought I would show you guys because First of all, they helped my skin tremendously and I just want to give you guys like a little update of how I like them. Second of all, I just got these like a week ago so I thought it was just like relevant to show, you know, whatever. But the first one is the Kate Somerville Cold Cream. I made my mom go get a sample today and even the employee, the Sephora employee was like, holy crap, this is the best thing ever. If you have dry skin, it like doesn't strip the oils, like it's really, really good and I couldn't agree more. I've been using this for about a week now and I'm like so obsessed. It really does moisturize without leaving you greasy. This is pretty expensive. It's about $48, but it's fine because it really does work. So if you guys have kind of the same skin type as me and are struggling with really dry skin and need a really good makeup remover that isn't going to strip your oils, definitely check this out. Or if you've tried the ponds and it clogged your pores too, this Definitely won't, or it didn't for me at least. So the next two things came in a little set and it was about $24. And I thought it was a really good deal because I was just gonna get the banana eye cream that I'm about to show you, but it was like 38 standalone. So I was just like, why not get both in a set? Obviously they're both Ole Hendrickson and the first one is the Banana Bright Eye Cream. I've been using this, I love it so much. Um, haven't been using it long enough to give like my final thoughts. I've kind of forgotten to use it a little bit. I'm just so bad with eye creams, but I really liked it like when I did use it for a few days and um, I could notice a difference. It definitely brightened me up, so love that. And then the other one in the set was the Sea Rush Brightening Gel Cream. And on days like when I'm running out the door to classes and I don't want to put makeup on, I just throw this on and I've noticed that it literally makes me look so glowy and so awake and so dewy and i just really like the way my skin feels after i use this so definitely recommend this i love that this right here i got um as well this was all in the same order i ordered this when i was on spring break just because my skin was suffering so bad so i got the tatcha the dewy skin cream tatcha came out with the dewy skin mist a while ago like it's been a minute and um they've had like other moisturizers like the water cream but they finally released the dewy skin cream been waiting for this forever i didn't know if they were ever gonna make one like this but i'm so freaking glad it's purple literally all this matches my this is funny i didn't plan that or did i but um it comes with like a little gold spatula but usually i just dip my finger in there but this has been my saving grace if you have really dry skin, this is $70, but I promise you it's worth every single penny. I will keep repurchasing this when I run out until I find something that works better, but I doubt that will ever happen. It's really healed my skin. It doesn't make you greasy, 
but it doesn't soak in immediately, if that makes sense. Like every moisturizer I've tried, like will just soak in immediately and my skin will be so dry still. But this for some reason, it doesn't sit, like I said, I can't really explain it, but it soaks in, but it just makes you look so glowy and it definitely is very moisturizing and hydrating and I'm obsessed with this, enough said. So that's all the stuff that I ordered a while ago and um, I just threw it in these two bags. So now I'm gonna continue with this bag. Okay, so. I also got the Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer, and I can give you guys an update on this because I used it today for the first time. I love it. I got the shade Bisque, and I thought it was gonna be a little too dark for me, but it matches my self-tan right now. I think once I'm my normal color, it might be a little bit too dark for me, but summer's coming up, so. Um, I've put off buying this for the longest time. It's been everybody's go-to forever. I just couldn't jump on the train and I don't know why because this is everything I've ever wanted, a tinted moisturizer. If you're dry, you want a moisture. I don't know what's wrong with me, but I finally got it. I love this so much. Like, look how glowy. I look a little oily because I didn't set it with powder, but it looks so beautiful. Literally, all I have on is the tinted moisturizer, brows, and blush, and some lip gloss, and that's literally it. I don't even have bottom mascara on. I love this so much. It's got SPF 20, which is perfect for when I'm at the lake this summer. This is just going to be my go-to. My go-to, like, when I am running out the door to class, like I said, and just want to throw something on. I just, I love it so much. So, I also picked up the Jouer Bouquet de Amour 6 Shade Blush Palette. And this has been in my cart ever since it came out. And I finally went into the store the other day and got it. And, um, I'm so glad I did. I want to say this was $40, $42. 48 somewhere around there, which is pretty good for six blushes. This is what it looks like. It's gorgeous. Here are the, I'm gonna try not to blind you guys. Here are the six shades. I'm wearing those two right here on my cheeks and it's literally lasted all day. I've had this makeup on since 12 this afternoon and it's like 7.30, exactly. So it's lasted literally all day. I've never had a blush to like last this long and I just think the colors are so gorgeous and perfect for spring and I love this so much. Okay, so I have three more items in this bag. The first one is the Anastasia Brow Powder Duo, and I have it in the shade Medium Brown, and I'm wearing it today, and I really, really like it. I've been using it with just like an angled, like, eyebrow brush, or is it like a liner brush? I don't know, but I think my brows look really good. I like because it has two different, let me show you. It has two different shades, so like one light and one, sorry guys, one light and one dark, and I really, really like it just everything about it. I like the formula. I am a pencil gal. I've tried gels. I've tried like everything, but I just wanted to try powder and I really like it. And I think this is going to be my new go-to because I just, I don't know. I really like it. So the next two things are things I've already tried in like the past and gotten before. But the first thing is the Dr. Jart Sikapair Tiger Grass Camo Drops. I don't have anything to say other than that. Everybody needs this. If you are not a makeup lover, you still need this. I don't know, like you just need this in your life because I tried the Dr. Jart Sick Pear Cream, like a tiger grass cream, and it was really thick on my face, but I still really liked it on days when I don't wear makeup because it just basically cancels out any redness, any blemishes. It almost looks like you're wearing foundation, but like a really light layer. It like adjusts to your skin color. I don't know if that makes sense. I've used it when I wasn't spray tanned and when I was spray tanned. I didn't look white when I was spray tanned. It was really weird, but I've got my mom onto this stuff. But anyway, so I had the cream for the longest time, but it just got to be too thick. So my mom actually had gotten this and I tried hers and I was like, what in the world? Like this is so much better for me because it's a little bit more oily. This is a repurchase for me. I love it so much. You guys definitely try this if you have any redness or any blemishes, but you're not like a foundation gal or you don't even want to do tinted moisturizer, but uh, I think just this is good for anybody who loves skincare or makeup. I just, this is definitely so good. I never use my points, but I use my points for the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask um, because when I travel, because I just bring my big jar of the Laneige Sleeping Mask when I travel and um, I would rather not. I don't know, it just, I needed one for travel. All right, now onto the stuff that I got today. I'm so excited. I've tried this before, but this is the Bumble and Bumble Thickening Dry Spun Finish Spray. It's just like a texture spray. I, like I said, I've tried this before. I've had the mini version and I love this stuff so much. It's literally so good. It's just like a texture spray. I don't struggle with volume. I will say that like I have, this is like third day hair. And as you can see, like I didn't do anything to it today. Like I literally did nothing to it. And it's just so volumized already. I just have really thick 
curly hair and it just holds volume very well but i do like that when i curl my hair just to give my curls some texture but i don't really do anything for volume if you guys are wondering oh my gosh lavender has just been following me around everywhere you guys will see in upcoming hauls and upcoming videos right now i like am weirdly obsessed with lavender i got some lavender flowers today from trader joe's and i'm weirded out because i'm not a lavender girl but it's kind of like trendy right now i don't know weird it's been following me so i got the fenty beauty pro filter instant retouch setting powder this has been out for a hot minute it's been out for a while but i i don't know i've heard different people talk about it and mixed reviews and i'm not a setting powder kind of girl and when i am i go for my charlotte tilbury or my hourglass um i don't really like powders because like i said i'm like really dry so I don't really need to set my face and when I do it just looks dry or so yeah but Jaclyn Hill just uploaded a video yesterday and it was her favorites and this was in it specifically in the shade lavender which is exactly what I got and she said this is the best for brightening so she said that she bakes with it and she sets her under eye with it and she said it literally brightens her up so much and she was wearing it in the video wearing it you can't really wear I guess you can wear setting powder but she had used it in the video she had set her under eyes that day of the video and it just looked amazing. So thank you, Jacqueline, for the uh, recommendation. So this stuff, obviously I haven't tried because I just got today, but I can definitely keep you guys updated if you would like me to do a favorites video in the future, let me know. So I just picked up a few of my Level Setter Sephora brand razors. Uh, I shaved my face with these. If you're weirded out by that, I don't know what to say because this is just something most people do. If you're really into makeup or if you're not into makeup, I think just a lot of people do this because it, first of all, obviously takes the peach fuzz off your face, which makes your makeup apply better, but then it also takes off the dead skin. People get dermaplaning facials, which this is just like doing that, but uh, you're doing it yourself and it's a lot cheaper, so. These are like eight bucks. I always just get these like almost every time I go into Sephora. So then I got the new Ole Henriksen Banana Bright Face Primer. I have like, a bunch of Ole Hendrickson products and I, I didn't know how I felt about it until I just like literally just now I'm like I do have a lot of Ole Hendrickson products so it must be one of my favorite skincare brands never like came to realize that but yeah so they came out with this and I saw bright and I freaked out tested it in the store was amazed put it in my basket and I went to check out and the like cashier lady was like girl she was like you are going to love this. She was like freaking out about it. She was like, I have it on today. She was like, sometimes you can even use it as a highlighter, which I love to hear that. I don't know how that would work, but I love to hear that because I like anything brightening. And I was like, is it good for dry skin? And she was like, I'm so glad that I decided to pick it up because I'm just so excited. But yeah, it's just a primer. And this is a skincare brand if you guys didn't catch on, so it's gotta be good for your skin. <laughs> Something else that I picked up was the new Cheek Leader Mini Bronze Squad Palette. I was not going to get this, guys. Like, I was not interested in it at all. I had seen some videos on it, seen this around, and I just wasn't impressed. I really wasn't. Not something I needed in my collection. I'm not a huge fan of face palettes at all, but I don't like the packaging on this. Like, Kind of weird, but um, the reason why I got this is because Jacqueline said that this shade right here is what she's been using as highlighter all the time. And she was like obsessed with it. She's like, this is my favorite highlighter right now. And it looked so good on her. She said that the formula is just so good. I'm so excited to play around with it. I've tried the Hula Bronzer before and I really like it, but I haven't tried any of their blushes or highlighters from Benefit. So hopefully it's good. So I also got just another plain beauty blender this is the blender pro yeah blender pro i was using mine today and mine's like a year old i know that's kind of gross i wash it though I, I do wash it um but my nails like sunk into it i don't know if it's because my nails are so long or because it's so old so i just picked up a new one you always need a beauty blender even though i normally just use a brush so i'm so excited about this um i have all of olaplex's products like literally every single one of them so i just thought i'd be consistent and pick up their newest one which is the Number six, Bond Smoother. Basically, this is just like a leave-in conditioner. It got really good ratings, really good reviews, and I'm all for a good leave-in conditioner. I've been using the same one for years, and it's time to switch it up, so I'm so excited. All right, guys, so I have two more products to show you, and the first one is a loose highlight, which I normally don't go for, but this is by Anastasia, and this is in the shade Snowflake. I don't know what it is, but even when I'm tan, I like silver highlights. Sometimes they can get a little too, like, ashy looking and they look 
gray, you know, like you can see the gray streak. Sometimes not. Sometimes they still really compliment my skin well. And I don't know why, but I've never been a fan of gold highlights, like ever. Platinum is good, but not like gold. Even when I'm tan, I don't, I don't know. I don't understand it. I think maybe just cause my like skin tone, maybe is like silver better. And I wear gold jewelry, so it doesn't make any sense at all. But I saw this and I saw the packaging and I freaked out. It's really cute. And um, yeah, it's just like a silver loose glitter highlight. And I just thought the packaging like is really pretty. And it was like $25, which is pretty good, I guess, for a highlighter. All right, and then the last thing that I'm gonna show you guys that I got from Sephora was the Kiehl's Ultimate Strength Hand Salve. I was at the mall with some of my friends the other day and I ran by the Kiehl's stand and I saw this and I like put it on my hand real quick and I was like, here, try it. And um, then when I went back today um, to Sephora, I just decided to pick it up because it was so good. So it's an all day care for severely dry active hands. So I don't know why, but my hands get so dry. So, so excited to have this now. I've tried so many hand creams. I'm hoping this works. Okay, so the last thing that I got was supposed to be here today, but it wasn't. So I'm a little upset. I don't wanna like have to wait another day to film this video. I just wanted to go ahead and film it. So I ran out of my fresh deep hydration facial toner. I love that so much, but it's to the point where all the rose petals are at the bottom and I can't get any more out. So I looked up literally every toner on Sephora and read all the reviews on it. And the one that had the most like best reviews that I saw for my skin type was the Glow 2 Dark Spot Toner by Ole Henriksen. That's what I'm saying. Like I'm, I don't know what it is with me and Ole Henriksen right now. And it's got AHAs in it, which is really, really cool. And some people that had dry skin really, really liked it. So I was gonna get another one like by Laneige and it was like a moisturizing one, but I wasn't sure how I'd feel about it. I don't have dark spots at all, but I still thought this would be good for a glow, a good glow, you know? So that's what I got. I don't know if you guys, the ring light showing, but it just looks like that. I'm sure you guys will see me use it in the future. Promise I ordered it, it's just not here right now. All right, you guys, so that is it for today's video. Like I said, some of this was collected, most of it was not. But yeah, I hope you guys still enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel down below if you are new. I'd love to have you on my channel. I know you'll love it here. Don't forget to click that bell so you get notified every single time I post, which is every Sunday and Wednesday. And don't forget to follow me on all my social medias. They are always linked in the description box below. Also, leave any video suggestions that you guys have for me. Let me know if you've tried any of these products or anything like that. So yeah, thank you guys again so much for watching. I love you so much and I appreciate you guys so much. Hopefully, I will see you all in my very next video. Mwah. Bye, guys.